Uh, we've got five amazing women. We've never done an all-female rescue. What a gas. And uh, have asked them to, you know, go and do some crazy challenges and raise $100,000 each. So we know it's a huge stretch, um, but, you know, we know these ladies are going to do all that they can to try and raise money for stars. Gal that worked for us years ago, really, really smart young lady, came up with this idea and this is our eighth time doing it. And it's just so much fun uh, for a really important cause. I, tr truthfully, I'm looking forward to being able to bring in as much money as possible on behalf of STARS. I think we've gathered an incredible group of women uh, who care deeply about our community and our ambition is to do everything we can to make sure STARS stays in the air for anyone and everyone that will ever need STARS in their lifetime. I have a colleague in my organization whose uh, brother was um, saved by stars and I think every one of us can tell that kind of story so if I ever need it I want to know it's there for me and I want to know it's there for anyone and everyone in my community. How's it going? You're here with all the stars. The, we've got Andrea laying on the stretcher and we're all in the stars helicopter. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey Kathy how much will you support us for? <laughs> he said $25,000! I couldn't wait to spend the day on the mountain and I actually thought it was even cooler that it was going to be snowing and really not very nice outside. So we didn't get to do all of that, but the thing that we do get to do is spend the whole day together. Um, not just the women participating, but also this all-female flight crew and the nurses and Andrea herself. It's a really cool feeling and keep raising money. Let's keep raising awareness for stars and keep bringing in the money. Um, the helicopter's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, it's just been a wonderful experience. A little bit nerve-wracking, but really wonderful. Because we live in the mountains and also because we have so many remote communities uh, around Calgary to get people the medical care they need quickly and to get them into centers when they need to, when they're not getting the care that they need in a smaller rural community, um, I don't think you can, I don't know how you could do without stars. It really makes a difference. You know, nobody wakes up in the morning thinking, gosh, I'd really like to call stars today. For a city that's oil and gas based, and almost all of us that are involved here today have been involved in oil and gas in some way, um, we really need to take care of our friends and our family that work in the field, and stars is one of the ways to do that. And one of the other things we need to do is we need to take care of the people that we respect and we honor. And Andrea Robertson for me is one of those women. Um, to have a woman in such a senior leadership position, a healthcare provider that's so dedicated to making this a better place. Um, for me, it's really an honor to support Andrea and the entire STARS team. STARS is a critical service. I mean, we can't do, we can't do the things that we do in this province, whether it be oil and gas, you know, even recreational, you know, traveling. Um, anything at all that we choose to do in Alberta, we know we're safer because of a, of a service like STARS. And so um, I just can't imagine us not having a, a service like this. And, and, and so that raising that operating income every year for them is, is key to us to be able to be able to continue to, to use these, these, or have these services available. Just, I just want to say thank you to all of our friends and family and co-workers and colleagues who have you know, helped us with this initiative and uh, stepped up in a big way because we know that uh, without this critical funding, we're, we're, we're going to be, um, we're just so lucky to have stars in our community. So thank you everyone.